by and for lifelong adventurers, Nimble Vehicles' one mission is to provide journeys free from limitations. And with the Nimble Evolution, it is clear that they have made one of the most complete expedition vehicles they could. Although they focus on the Ford 350, they will build around any truck. The Evolution is built with total comforts and zero frills. You can easily accomplish daily tasks such as cooking, personal hygiene, and even relaxation in the dinette that converts into a second bed for children. You can also enjoy your own night's sleep on the queen-size bed. To add to the comfort, the suspension of the standard configuration includes 35-inch tires, reservoir shocks at each corner, and custom rear axle leaf packs. The Evolution is engineered to handle both trails and roads. German engineering company Cabineer has been on a mission to create innovative and sustainable camping cabins for pickups. Their 2022 model certainly looks to tick both boxes. Built to fit most double cab pickup trucks, the Cabineer is made out of natural fiber composite, flax fiber, cork, linseed resin, and treated non-toxic plastics. The result is a solid lightweight molding that is also incredibly environmentally friendly in its production and at the end of its life. The Cabineer also has a focus on accessibility. The fridge, kitchen stove, and cabinetry are accessible from both the inside and outside of the camper, with the rear doors swinging outwards. And that's how owners of the Cabineer prefer to use their camper, a mixture of indoor-outdoor functionality. Inside, the Cabineer sleeps three adults, or two adults and two children, in the convertible dinette bed and expandable roof level. There's no indoor shower, and you will have to settle for a porta potty style situation. Still, the kitchen faucet can be relocated outside to act as an outdoor shower. A fully upgraded Cabineer features a 100 amp hour lithium battery connected to two 100 watt solar panels, a water heater, and a cabin heater with an altitude kit. At the moment, you're only going to be able to pick up a Cabineer if you're in Europe with their showrooms in Germany. What's your preference when it comes to showering while camping? Is an indoor heated shower a non-negotiable inclusion for you? Let us know in the comments. The first pop-up roof truck bed camper on our list is the Phoenix Slide Up Slide In. It is perfect for those looking to better their gas mileage or who don't want the added weight of a solid construction camper on the back of their truck. The first thing you notice is that the queen bed takes up around half of the camper's footprint. There is plenty of room in the skinny end of the camper that sits over the roof of your rig. There's a dining area that can seat four adults pretty comfortably as well as a stove and wet shower bathroom area. With the top fully erected, there's enough headroom to cook and walk around inside without bumping your head, which is nice. The roof itself is made of polycarbonate fiberglass with rooftop racking robust enough to house kayaks, surfboards, stand-up paddle boards, and mountain bikes, or anything else needed for the avid outdoor adventurer to go out exploring. This is one for those who use their trucks the way they were intended to be used, going off-road and overland. The Lance Camper's altimeter has the ability to handle bumpy terrain written into its DNA. If you're taking this big beastie out into the wild, it's best to upgrade to 37-inch all-terrain tires all around. And it wouldn't be a bad idea to have a suspension and linkages upgrade installed either. 
Despite a heavy and robust construction designed to take a beating and go places a truck bed camper just shouldn't go, the inside actually feels like home. We can't express just how appreciative we are to have a wet bathroom and full kitchen when away from civilization. Heading 50 plus miles away from the nearest town center doesn't mean you have to do without those creature comforts and that you can't bring home with you as well. The Mario Mercier truck bed camper also uses a pop-out breakfast nook. Still, the real space saver is having an extendable flap at the rear so that the bedding area takes up next to no space within the camper itself. The doors, windows, water heater, and furnace were bought used, with the timber and plywood framed walls made by hand. Fiberglass was then added for strength and waterproofing, with a final layer of ceramic resin over the top to complete the job. Such an innovative design leaves more room to move around inside what is now an area that rivals a small RV in terms of free space. Sadly, it's a one-off design and not for sale, made by the man himself for his family to use. In Japan, there's a category of motor vehicles known as K. It's used to classify the smallest highway legal passenger vehicles, including micro cars, mini trucks, and compact vans. One such K truck is the Daihatsu Hijet, a 660cc micro truck that only measures 11.1 feet long and 4.8 feet wide. Despite its tiny footprint, Japanese camper company Mystic decided to take the Hijet and convert it into the smallest pop-top camper of its kind. Outside, Mystic has given the Hijet a facelift, adding a front bull bar, Toyo open country rough terrain tires, and reinforced high contrast fenders. An awning extends from one side, while an outdoor dining table folds down under cover. Access to the Mini Pop B active gear is via a rear door and mounted step. Once inside, there's room to sleep up to four people three adults on the multi-cushion cabin bed, and a child in the expandable pop-up roof bed. During the day, the cushions convert back into a central dinette area with seating. You'll find quite possibly the world's smallest kitchenette block in the rear of the cabin. There's no stove or fridge, but a 4.2-gallon freshwater tank connects to a small sink and mixer, while pop-up benches expand your cooking space. Power comes courtesy of an onboard 105 amp hour leisure battery. Users can hook the camper up to external power via charging ports. Solar panels and an inverter can be added as an additional extra. Some of the Mini Pop B Active Gear's many other features include LED lighting throughout, screen side windows, and driver's cabin privacy curtains. But suppose you're in the mood for premium upgrades. In that case, Mystic also offers four-wheel drive options, suspension upgrades, solar panels, dual batteries, heaters, and much more. If you like mini truck campers but are not a huge fan of Daihatsu, Mystic builds the Mini Pop B Active Gear on a handful of different Japanese K trucks. You can also order your own Active Gear on the back of a Suzuki Carry or Toyota Pixis. They're also surprisingly affordable, considering how feature-packed they are. Prices for the two-wheel drive Mini Pop B Active Gear start at just 3,732,400 yen, or about 31,550 US dollars. You'll pay 3,885,300 yen, or about 32,850 US dollars, on the four-wheel drive option. There is something very satisfying about a slide-off truck bed camper. 
Down under in Australia, the trucks may not be as big, but then again, they don't need to be. The Ozscape Optima is a truck bed camper designed to suit a smaller pickup like a Ford Ranger. Better yet, once you get to your destination, hydraulic supports lower it down to the ground and lift the camper off the tray and support it during use, leaving your vehicle free to go exploring without having a snail shell on the back. The Optima is perfect for those tired of towing around a full-sized caravan or a pop-up style trailer, but who also don't want to fork out for a full-blown RV. It may be a little cozy, but there's still plenty of room for a couple. The Talus Venture Pack and Camp Pack campers deserve an honorable mention. If you only need your truck for a nice night out in the mountains or desert, but just want that extra bit that will give you the comfort you can't find out in the woods, then the Camp Pack is what you want. The Venture Pack and Camp Pack are an easy and minimalist way to cut your cord with civilization and unwind in the terrain of your choosing. There aren't many campers designed for flatbed use, but the Baja Runner Hawk makes the most of doing away with the tub. No high-sided truck bed means a little more freedom in design, and strangely enough, the Hawk is a side entry, freeing up quite a bit of space in the process. There's no need for pop-up functionality, as the queen bed, kitchenette, dining area, and cassette toilet all fit in perfectly, while still leaving a couple square feet of standing room but it does take advantage of a canvas pop-up roof that helps bring the center of gravity lower to the ground while traveling. Being flatbed mounted instead of sitting on a conventional truck bed means this thing is solid as a rock and can easily handle the stresses of going off-road or overland. Following Topperlift, we have a family-owned business from Australia. Cameron Campers and Canvas handle everything involving travel trailers, from manufacturing to the repairs. One of the things they happen to manufacture is a compact slide-on camper. These are customized additions that turn your truck from a travel tool into a place of comfort and homey spirit. The Cameron Compact Slide-On is a two-piece ensemble you have the waterproof aluminum slide on itself, and then the tent that accompanies it. The tent is easily set up within minutes and offers a sufficiently spacious stay. There's plenty of storage included with an 821 liter storage box. And another nice creature comfort is the barbecue and 30 liter draw fridge. And if you like the idea of these sort of slide on campers, but are maybe looking for something different, the Cameron Cobber Slide-On Camper may do it for you. This is a similar, albeit boxier, brother to the compact variant. This version is also intended to be customized through various additions and modules, so you can capture that perfect weekend in the woods. In 1998, Travel Light RV was initially founded as a truck camper manufacturer. However, in 2011, they expanded into lightweight travel trailers. We're going to be looking at the 2021 Extended Stay, 
which is committed to long-lasting quality. The solid wood construction, insulated walls, double plywood floors, and attractive neutral interior makes this truck bed camper a homey and safe stay. It has everything you need in a compact truck accessory, including a three-way refrigerator and several storage areas throughout. The 2021 extended stay is flush with features like a high-rise kitchen faucet, a two-burner stove, and more. And if you are looking for a bit more, there's a range of optional equipment you can purchase in addition, such as a water heater upgrade or 22-inch TV. You'll want to extend your countryside stay with the 2021 extended stay. Definitely the most unconventional entry on our list, the European-made Azar 4 uses aerodynamic styling to stand out from the crowd. A lightweight plywood frame is covered with a rounded monocoque fiberglass composite shell to give the capsule strength while keeping the load on the truck to a minimum. Once again designed for smaller utilities like the Ford Ranger, the Azar 4 is built with off-roading in mind, but the danger of high winds also drove the design. Extremely high winds while traveling at speed can turn the side of a camper into a makeshift sail and blow you across the road. By using aerodynamic styling, air drag is reduced, which is safer while also keeping the fuel bill down. Although there is little extra room inside, you still get the same queen-size bed, four-seater kitchen area, and wet bathroom like other campers. Besides, you go camping to be outdoors, not sit inside your camper. With minimalist living and downsizing trends still popular in 2021, Toyota decided to combine rugged off-road adventure with a tiny home in their monstrously ambitious concept camper, the Tacozilla Tacoma Camper. Unveiling this commanding concept at the 2021 SEMA show in Las Vegas, the Tacozilla represents months of engineering and architectural collaboration, with a team working tirelessly to solve space and design issues encountered along the way. Built on the back of a Tacoma TRD Sport pickup, Toyota kept most of the same base model specs, including a 278 horsepower 3.5 liter V6 engine and six speed manual transmission. Upgrades, however, have come in the way of a TRD snorkel, two inch suspension life, all terrain tires, and rigid auxiliary lighting. Tacozilla does away with sharp boxy lines for the camper's body. Instead, they opt for rounded edges and smooth aluminum surfaces to make the camper section look more integrated. Retro decals on the side give it a distinct 70s and 80s camper vibe, but the modern inclusions tell another story. An odd angled door provides access from the rear, swinging open on a unique hinge. The design might look simple enough, but the truth is that door represented a challenge that took over 100 hours to solve. While manufacturers like Chinook RV dealt with angled doors using a split two-piece door system, Toyota created a single-piece door that fits precisely inside the frame. Clearance was also a big concern in the design phase. The high roof allows just over six feet in headroom, meaning even your tall friends can come camping without having to stoop over. Once inside, Toyota squeezed in as much functionality as possible into a compact space, installing a fully enclosed wet bathroom with a toilet and hot cold shower. The modern kitchen block comes complete with a stove, sink, and combination fridge freezer. A dual bench dining area with a 3D printed table sits centrally inside the camper. What's cool about this table is that when you're done eating, it can then double as a piece of backlit wall art. 
Any future production models would undoubtedly have the option for that table to convert into a sleeping surface for a third and fourth camper. Further back still, and the Tacozilla features a raised alcove with a double mattress where campers can watch the wall-mounted TV or gaze through the 4x4-foot skylight centered in the ceiling above. As for power, dual batteries mean there is enough to not only power the internal appliances, but enough to start the engine the following day. Unfortunately for us, the Tacozilla Tacoma Camper is a concept created as a one-off for promotion. But in saying that, it's not unheard of for concept cars to move to production if there is enough buzz and demand. Fingers crossed. Time is a valuable commodity, and the expense of it to pack and unpack, then set up and tear down can be a hassle. So what's the solution? Well, we're going to just start right off with the Topper Lift, which is a company that specializes in making a universal lifting kit that fits all mid and full-sized pickup trucks. It is just that simple. It's never been easier to transform your truck of choice into a pop-up camper waiting to be used. The Topper Lift Kit does what it says on the tin. It takes the topper you already own and lifts it for more space. You can then choose to combine that with their Weekender Camper Package and turn your truck bed into a campsite. Topper Lift also offers a contractor package with plenty of extra room and a workstation that is set up in seconds. It's no secret that camping and camper culture is a big deal in the US and Europe, but it hasn't caught on in some parts of the world, like India. However, recently many state governments and tourism departments within India have been pushing for more motorhomes and caravanning, and Motorhome Adventures is the pioneer for the region. The two founders, who also happen to be husband and wife, have over 23 years of experience in the field. The company now focuses on motorhome rentals and tours. One of the more recent additions to their services is motorhome conversions, like the Mahindra Bolero pickup truck caravan. The company took this jewel cab chocolate colored truck and reimagined it from the wheels up. That's a literal statement, as one of the first things the company changed were the tires for an all-terrain variance better suited to the camping lifestyle. The more noticeable change is the bed, which has been finished with its own custom industrial grade aluminum shell. If needed, the entirety of the shell can be removed quite easily when not in use, or if you want to separate your camping home from the vehicle. Lights have been added to the front of the custom shell with a solar panel strapped to the roof. The shell's interior is protected against the environment with heat insulation and a one-ton air conditioning system. At the top in the overhead cabin is where the six-foot wide bed is located. A couch just below it can also be converted into a bed for a total sleeping capacity of four. There's even a television included for a bit of entertainment. The company stated how difficult this build was considering the space limitations, but that didn't stop them from fitting a kitchen and a bathroom inside. The kitchen includes a 10-gallon fridge and a two-burner stove, as well as a sink that has the option of either regular or hot water. The bathroom doesn't come with a proper toilet. Still, it does include one of the portable varieties, as well as a shower that also offers the same regular or hot water options as the sink. Suppose you want a conversion of your own from Motorhome Adventures. In that case, the prices will vary depending on the project. Still, this Mahindra Bolero makeover would run you around $18,300. Do you like the idea of conversions or do you prefer buying your motorhome wholesale? Or are you the do-it-yourself type? Head on down to the comments and let us know your thoughts. Thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed the video.
Fabric sidewalls on pop-top truck bed campers have a tendency to wear and sometimes tear after a few years of solid use. The Alaskan 6.5 cab over uses a unique design exclusively patented to them to avoid this whole issue. The camper is actually made up of two solid walls that raise up and lower down telescopically within one another. This is done via a built-in hydraulic mechanism, which means you don't have to awkwardly push the roof up while half crouched down inside the camper. Hit the switch, stand back, and let it do its thing. The super sleek profile of the Alaskan prevents wind noise from entering the cabin, which can be annoying on other truck bed camper models. Despite being so compact, it's still packed with all the additional features you'd want in a modern day camper, including a furnace, fridge, solar power system, and water heater. And just like that, it looks like we are coming to our close. Before we say goodbye though, we do have one last treat for you. Located on the west coast of Canada, Loki Base Camp has operated within the design, engineer, and fabrication business for over 15 years. They say they combine personal interests with professional expertise, and we're excited to see the product. That product includes the Falcon Series, which is a package of three slide-on trailers. Each version is fitted for different trucks, with the Falcon 8 being larger than both the Falcon 5 or 6. Loki Base Camp makes quite an effort. They say each of their units is handcrafted, from the aluminum frame to the interior finishes. Each one is tailored for the consumer. Exterior color and finishes, interior materials, components, and accessories make up the bulk of customization. Creature comforts are important and the Falcon Series conveniently comes equipped with some four-season insulation, heating, and AC, too. The Falcon Series is a lot like a utility knife. A roof rack, multiple doors, a retractable canopy, and a powerful 28,000 lumens light bar are a few tools in this kit. Entering the Falcon truck bed camper in the back, you are immediately met with what they call the mudroom on your left. This is a space that converts into a seat or table area and also where you'll find the flexible shower. Beside that is the kitchenette with a portable induction cooktop, fridge, and countertop space. Space isn't an issue either with three storage cabinets and storage pockets located throughout. The over cabin sleeping area is large enough for a queen sized bed with USBs aplenty and even a couple of reading lights. The lounge area is across from the kitchenette and features seating that can be used for multiple purposes. There is also a small table that is removable for more space. For power, the Falcon Series boasts a 360-watt solar system with up to 600 amp-hour lithium batteries. There is quite a bit packed into this one, which makes it all the better for someone who knows what they are doing and what they want. If you're interested in the Falcon Series, let us know in the comments. If you prefer another of the truck bed campers showcased today, tell us which one. And if you didn't like anything you saw, well, what would you like to see? We'd love to hear your responses. And until next time, have a good night. Coming up on number two, we're pressing the pedal down a bit with this one. The Cyberlander may be quite a surprise to you, but it is a camper attachment explicitly designed for Tesla's Cybertruck, which has yet to be released. The Cyberlander isn't so much about having a home on the road, but more about having a kitchen, living room, bedroom, or bathroom with you anywhere and everywhere you go. The Cyberlander is a quaint temporary home, The minimalistic interior transforms to allow you to utilize the space how you see fit, when you see fit. 
The kitchen isn't necessarily flush with doodads. Still, it has a sink and smart faucet with voice controls, and a large porcelain countertop with an induction cooktop built into it. The Cyberlander's living room is equipped with a 32-inch smart TV and surround sound, as well as reclining seating. With the Starlink satellite dish providing high-speed internet, you can even use the living space as an office. The bathroom is snug but still fulfills the purpose you would hope. A radiant heated porcelain tile floor is a great addition, and a recirculating shower ensures you have enough water to stay clean. And in the same cubicle is the dry flush toilet that cleans itself. How easy! Cyberlander may not be the biggest, most extravagant thing we've covered, but it sure does make the most out of the back of the Cybertruck. And suppose you were a fan of near-futuristic minimalism. In that case, this may be a no-brainer, especially if a Cybertruck is in your future. Upping the stakes a bit, we find ourselves in the lap of Bond Camper Works. This is an entirely customized truck camper company with over 30 years of experience. The founder and owner of Bond, Ryan, works personally on each camper one by one until it is done. Bond Camper Works is a bit different from the average distributor of campers. They start with a shell that weighs around 700 pounds and is made from resin-infused fiberglass. Windows, doors, insulation, wiring, etc. are all things that Bond can tackle. Mum's the word. And if you want a little more with your campers, such as bed upgrades, extra underfloor storage, or door or roof racks, Bond has you covered there as well. And after construction of the hardy and, dare I say, pleasant-looking shell, Bond gets cracking on the interior. This is where the magic happens. Each interior is entirely custom-built to please the consumer for whatever they may need it for. Kitted kitchenettes, inside or out, hot water, solar charging system, I mean the list goes on. If you think you may want it for your trips, you may as well just ask, and they can probably do it for you. And you'll get the opportunity. Bond sits down and asks what you want, and they spend the first month alone designing the exact thing you want. We don't always get what we want, but Bond has made it clear they will try. Bond Camper Works is genuinely one of the only companies making your specific dream campers come to life. Let us know in the comments if this is something you'd be interested in, or if pre-made campers are more your speed. It's incredible to think just how much dead space there is hanging in and above your truck bed. The Bigfoot 1500 series of truck bed campers are extremely high quality and remain lightweight despite sturdy construction materials and the inclusion of a whole bunch of creature comforts. Going over bumps and potholes in the road at 60 miles an hour doesn't phase it one bit. It's rock solid. Unlike many truck bed campers, the addition of a dry bathroom and toilet is most welcome. It's nice not having to go outside. The factory mattress is an inner spring queen size, which makes for restful sleep. Factor in that it's loaded with goodies like a six cubic foot fridge, air conditioning, two solar panels, and a propane powered Kohler generator, as well as a full kitchen, including three burner range, oven, and microwave. And you get some serious bang for the buck.
Based out of Cholet in France, Bauer has been creating retro caravans since 2010. Their obsession with the popular caravan designs of the 60s saw them emulate the aesthetic for their latest range of patented telescopic campers. They first began with the Caravan 2X, a towable caravan module that expanded horizontally to twice its original size. After a successful launch, Bower then introduced the 3X. This expandable travel studio could now extend to three times its original size. The 3X Plus model is closer to a mobile motorhome, with 28 cubic meters of floor space and comfortably sleeping up to six people. But it's the 3XC that's getting all the attention. Rather than a towable module, the 3XC consists of a van base with the camping module affixed to the rear tray. Drivers have a choice between the Fiat Ducato, Ford Transit, Mercedes Sprinter, Renault Master, and Volkswagen Transporter. Essentially, the caravan component has the same inclusions and measurements as the 3X. It's just mounted to a truck bed instead of being freestanding. In its compact configuration, the 3XC is only the width of a standard vehicle, meaning you can park in any car parking spot without attempting dangerous maneuvers. But once you've found your spot, the electric actuator system can be activated with the press of a button. Within 60 seconds, your once slimline camper has telescoped out to three times the original width. Inside this three and a half room camper, access is via a central rolling door leading into the L-shaped kitchen. Here you'll find a sink, dual burner stove, and 120 liter fridge. Further to the left, the 3XC features a five seat sofa and collapsible dining table, which folds away and converts into sleeping space for two adults. On the right of the central door, you'll find a bathroom complete with a cassette toilet, a 19-liter freshwater tank, and a water pump. While showers aren't included on the base model, they can be added as an additional extra. At the very end of the caravan is the private bedroom. Inside is an almost queen-size bed for two and plenty of storage in the provided chests and cupboards. The base model has minimal onboard power and climate control solutions. Although for an additional cost, the 3XC can be upgraded with gas or electric heating and hot water, air conditioning, an 80 amp hour auxiliary battery, and solar charging. Prices for the 3XC, including the truck base, start at approximately $72,750 for a single cab with three cab seats, or $77,850 for a double cab with five seats. What more do you think Bower could have added to make the 3XC any better? Do you think it's worth the price tag? Let us know in the comments below. When Truck Campers Australia searched for a base for their latest slide-on truck bed camper, they partnered with Canadian-based manufacturer Northern Light. Exporting these massive units cost a pretty penny. Still, when building their latest Aussie base station, Truck Campers Australia says the superior build quality was worth every cent. The result is the Aussie base station, a demountable truck bed camper that combines the luxury of a motorhome with the versatility of off-road four-wheel drive. They're built to sit on the back of a Mitsubishi Fuso Canter. When you want to attach the truck to the camper, you simply raise the ABS on its wireless remote-controlled hydraulic legs and reverse your vehicle into place. A docking station mounted to the Fuso's tray locks the basement of the ABS into place. Oh yeah, the Aussie base station has a basement. They're essentially a series of storage lockers that double as a structural foundation and attachment point. When deployed, the Aussie base station stays true to its name, expanding awnings and annexes from the front, rear, and sides. Inside, the timber-detailed ABS sleeps up to four, with a queen bed in the front and a convertible dinette bed in the middle. On board, the ABS features creature comforts galore. Everything from satellite TV, air conditioning, roof-mounted solar panels, power inverter, and lithium-ion battery storage. There's a full-featured kitchen, ensuite with commode and shower, and outside, annexes can be used as an additional bedroom, kids' play area, or semi-outdoor dining room. 
Some owners have even found a way to hook up a small washing machine for outdoor laundry. All in all, lovers of long-haul life on the road feel right at home in the Aussie Base Station. But could you do three months in a camper like this? We finally arrive at our number one spot and we aim to share a treat or two with you. Like many on this list, Eagle Cap Campers has been around for quite a long time, 1969 to be exact. Many great things happened in that year. We landed on the moon for the first time in history. Woodstock had an astounding 350,000 person attendance record. And Erdman Epp founded Eagle Cap Campers. And because of just how well Eagle Cap Campers designs and manufactures their campers, we couldn't settle on one. So we chose Eagle Cap 1200 and Eagle Cap 1165. The appearance of both of these great campers is sleek, simple, and clean. Pleasant to look at and enjoyable to bring along on a trip with the family. The aerodynamic two-tone molded one-piece fiberglass shell wards off the elements and the all-season insulation combined with the air furnace take it to a new level, akin to your home. Both are decked out with fully equipped bathrooms with dry baths and separate fiberglass showers. Domestic toilets with foot flush and stainless lavatory sinks sit under the skylight, so you can bask in your quiet time. Similarly, they host full galleys with double bowl sinks, laminated countertops, three burner cooktops, eight cubic foot refrigerators, and everything else you could want on your trip. The Eagle Cap 1200 is the longest camper on the list at 21 foot 3 inches, and it's tied for first place with the Eagle Cap 1165 in sleeping capacity. The Eagle Cap 1165 is the heaviest on the list at 4,917 pounds, and the widest at 8 foot 5 inches. And all too quickly our video comes to a close. Did you like our selection of campers? Does size matter, or is it what's on the inside that counts? Let us know in the comments. We love reading your thoughts. If you're craving adventure well off the beaten track but still want a comfortable night's sleep, the next truck bed camper might just pique your interest. Developed in Oregon by Colin and Brad Hauer of Hauer Built Campers, the base camp results from years of research, development, and testing. It's grown from the minimalist Tundra all the way to their first electronic lift pop top camper in 2022, named the Base Camp. From the outside, the base camp has an industrial strength-like feel to it. A 3 16 inch aluminum frame and powerful electric-driven scissor lift can lift 300 pounds no matter the load distribution. This is incredible, considering the camper itself is only 400 pounds. Measuring 9 feet 4 inches long, with a fully expanded headroom of 6 feet 5 inches, the base camp is designed to fit most mid-sized trucks. A waterproof, UV, and mold-resistant canvas wraps around the pop-up sleeping area. Access comes via the large rear doors and side awning panels. Downstairs in the main cabin, the layout is highly customizable, but many owners have opted for large modules that slide out on rails for cooking, storage, and food prep. The other side can be used for gear hauling, a great place to hold motorbikes, kayaks, 
and mountain bikes. The base camp sleeps two people on a three inch thick queen mattress in the pop-up roof. Three if a bed is installed in the main cabin. There's also a six inch recessed cavity so when the top is collapsed, the mattress and bedding can be left in place. Power comes courtesy of a 100 amp hour lithium battery, an MPPT controller, and pre-wired solar provisions. This comes in handy when running a 12 volt power plug, eight interior dimmable LED lights, and the two USB ports. Is the base camp more suited to your sense of adventure? Or do you need to camp in style? When looking at campers designed for truck beds, you usually get one of two outcomes. A large bulky boulder of a mechanism that weighs your truck down and bulges out the sides, or a shell with some willowy interior fabrics. No matter what, you're making sacrifices. However, not everyone likes the same things, and that's where the Flip 90 comes in. From the German-based company called Queen Size Camper, in collaboration with ICC Offroad, the Flip 90 tries to do something just a little differently. The days of choice are upon us, and there are many options in nearly every aspect of commercialism nowadays. You can have your cake and eat it too. You can have your compact, lightweight truck bed camper, and a larger walled environment for lounging, sleeping, cooking, or relief too. Weighing in at as little as 550 pounds, depending on the equipment, the Flip 90 is easily one of the lightest truck bed campers we've covered. But that isn't what makes this Viridian vacation so memorable. Its transformation capabilities are. It's as simple as pushing a single button, and the Flip 90 flips open 90 degrees, presenting a hospitable hotelier for two. And the transition back is just as easy. While in driving mode, the whole package measures roughly seven and a half feet tall and has a low center of gravity so you can drive with a little more assurance. Because of its low profile form while in drive mode, the whole truck and camper can be shipped in a container. While converted, a doorway leads to a new interior room which can function as a washroom or bathroom. However, there doesn't appear to be a drain on the floor, so you'll need another method of containing the water. A shower pan could do the trick. The Flip 90 doesn't come with a toilet, but the walled interior is perfect for a portable one of your own. There's no tent fabric here, and the Flip 90 is insulated to boot. The extra room could even be used for secondary living space if you so chose to use it as such. The stationary half of this lime-colored live-in houses the near queen-size bed, which can be adjusted into a sofa. When stretched out into a sleeping space, it sits atop the kitchen spread. The kitchen is simply a driver's side slide out with a gas ceramic cooktop with a gas box and a sink with a five gallon water tank hooked up to it. It should be noted that the shower hookup attaches to the same water tank as the sink. Opposite the slide out is a nearly 12 gallon compressor fridge with a nearly 20 gallon freshwater tank placed just in front of the rear wheel axle. A smaller but relevant advantage of the flip-top style of camper that Queen Size Camper and ICC Off-Road deliver is that you can easily access whatever you had strapped to the top of it when it flips open. A truck bed camper with a washroom, kitchen, bed, and extra space without a large bulky mess to maneuver is not easily found. If you're interested in the Flip 90, you can get one yourself for around $34,800 or $26,575 if you just want the shell without the kitchen, bed, and shower hookup. There is also an option for a Flip 90 off-road trailer for those that prefer a more traditional method of making camp in comfort.
There is nothing wrong with those type of campers if that's what you're looking for. Just take a look at the Solo 01, which packs all the necessities of a caravan into a bulky mobility camper. Since its conception, though, it has evolved into something a bit more livable, made from recyclable metals from buses. Click the card in the top right or the link in the description to see more of this innovation, initially conceived to provide portable housing in India. Speaking of crawler, another model that has caught our attention is the CMP-190, designed for a family of three. The CMP-190's rising ceiling creates extra space, and the glass door opening on the side provides a vista while you relax. Or if you don't want to be cooped up in the camper, you can sit out under the 270-degree awning. The outdoor kitchen includes double stoves, a faucet, and a freshwater tank. The sitting and sleeping area has a primary and secondary bed and fully accommodates three people. And if you don't want to use nature's restroom, you can always pick up this five gallon portable toilet on Amazon. The link is in the description. The CMP 190 is just too solid all around not to be on this list. Specializing in customizing massive camper coaches, Powerhouse Coach just does what no one else is doing in the industry. The luxury motor coach will take our number two and number one spot on this list for its immense size alone. Just taking a look at the floor plan will show you what you're in for. This is not only an ample space with 300 square feet of top of the line comfort, but also an intricately designed masterpiece with everything you could need in a home away from home. Four rooms slide out using PHC hydraulics and come with a 17-foot lower deck and a king bed over the cab. Another queen sofa sleeper and a power table sleeping booth can be found inside, making more than enough room to sleep and stay for a family or two. A sizable bathroom hosts the shower and toilet complete with 225 gallons of freshwater storage. You won't be hurting for choice either, with options to include a dinette, stowaway bed and sofa, an oven, and more. Powerhouse Coach knows how to combine the luxury of a high-end motorhome but with the practicality of a removable camper. A big part of the beauty of this line of campers is customization. You can rearrange the interior to your liking, working and conversing directly with Powerhouse Coach throughout the process. You can pick and choose which additions and amenities you wish for. The size does not slow down your unpacking either, with an estimated time of five minutes to unload. Powerhouse Coach promises a lot, but they deliver just the same. Do you think the amount of space is overkill, or is it just what you need? Let us know in the comments.